Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. How are you today? Welcome, bienvenido, assalamu alaikum, Kroisui, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a little review of something I bought um, about a month ago. I haven't unboxed it yet or done a review on it. And it's the Hurricane Spin Scrubber. Um, so it's basically a motorized brush with brush interchangeable brush heads for cleaning certain areas of the house. So I've seen a couple of reviews on it, and the one thing I would say that if 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 your house is nasty with nasty stains everywhere, that needs a new bath replacing, that needs a new sink replacing, that's absolutely covered in mold and muck and mildew and dirt and whatever, this is not the product for you. This is a uh, a product for maintaining cleanliness, not for performing miracles. So I'll start that off from the bat from what I've seen because. It ain't a miracle worker, it's just a motorized brush. But I do some reviews, I keep the house pretty tidy, and um, I've left two areas sort of like uh, for to, to demonstrate this um, spin scrubbing brush. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you and show you the different parts, and then we'll have a little demo. Okay, so I got the box here in front of me with everything inside it. Uh, what we'll do is open it up. The only thing I have done is slice the tape that was holding the box down. So first out of the box, we've got an instructions. The instructions. I'll put them to one side for now. Um, we've got the head, the main head. the extension handle for it, the main handle here with the on and off switch and I believe that end, yes that's where you do the charge and then it's got a rubber seal on that one. Uh, we've got a UK power cord for charging it up. And finally, we've got three brushes. It's already a bit flattened. Should come out with use. Ooh, a couple of loose brushes. Uh, okay, so we've got this round-headed brush. That is this corner brush. And a flat bristle brush. They're nice stiff bristles. These ones, you know, they're all the same style of bristles. Um, they're not as big as I initially thought they were. They did seem a lot bigger, but I, I guess that's big enough for brushing most areas. So that is it inside the box. So the only thing I have to do now is to charge it up, and I believe you have to charge it up for a certain amount of time. Uh, says here, uh, your first charge requires 20 hours, but later charges only take 8 hours. So I'm not sure how much you have, how much time you have with it on, but it takes uh, 20 hours for the initial, and then 8 hours then per charge in between after that. Okay, so let's have a quick look. So this is the head the top here so I think you just it's very easy I think you just yeah just slot it in and then that's that just pop a head on it's quite easy how to pop it on you can see there's a shape Oop. okay I'll pick that one up in a minute uh, you can see underneath there there's two sort of like different sized which seem to fit over here, oops, over here, over these little things here. So let's pop it on. Okay, let's switch it on. So the on and off switch is on the handle there. Okay, it's not going to have a super torque on it, 
but um, not too bad, it seems powerful, so let me get this charged up. Okay, so I've had it all charged up. So those are the parts that I showed you. This is the extension uh, wand that comes with it as well. So what you actually do is just click it in and then the head clicks on that end and then you turn it on then at the handle here. The brushes are actually, the brush heads are actually very easy to put on and take off. They only go on one way. Let's have a look. There we go, they fit on. And then to remove them, you just pull them off. And this one, push it on. And just wiggle it off. Ooh, it's on there nice and stiff, so they're not gonna come off. Okay, so that is what you get in the box. I'm going to take the extension handle off because I'm gonna do the first test in the utility room on the sink. So I'm going to use just that. And I'm going to use, yeah, I'll use the round one because of the corners of the aluminium sink. Okay, so let's go into the utility room and give it a go. Okay, so I'm here in my util utility room and there is an aluminium sink. This sink, I haven't cleaned it for a couple of days because I wanted to test this. So the sink is not badly stained or badly damaged it's just marked with watermarks and a little bit of this is where i set up the bowls to feed the dogs <clears throat> and pour away um water from the mop bucket or from buckets or whatever but i do keep it relatively clean and tidy so this will work really well in maintaining that if your sink is extremely badly stained and extremely dirty, do not expect miracles from this. And the other thing as well is that you have to have a product. You can't just use this with, with warm water and expect it to come up clean. You have to use a cleaning product with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the area. And that's just like I would normally if I was using a um, scrubbing pad. I'm going to wet the brush. Just like I would normally, just a little bit of sif. And let's see.
Okay, so I've done the main part of the sink. I'm going to change the head now for cleaning the taps. Okay, so I've got the head here. I'm just going to pull the other head off. Pop this head on. Give it a rinse. I'm going to put a little bit of GIF directly onto the brush and see how it does. Lost the hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna rinse, take the brush off. You don't wanna get the the head wet. And grab a cloth like I normally do. Okay, so that is my sink cleaned, I've rinsed out the brushes, and wopped up any water. Now let's take you off the stand and have a look. So I'm here at my sink. It's lovely and shiny, it's nice and clean. There's a little bit of a stain there. Just some water marks. Now, in summary, cleaning sinks. Did I find it any easier than using my regular scrubbing brush? No, it actually took a bit longer. Um, did it do a better job at cleaning this sink than it would with a normal scrubbing brush? No, exactly the same to be honest. Just as nice and shiny and clean as it would have been. It actually took longer than what it would have taken me if I had just used a sponge with a scourer or something like that. It would, this did take me longer. Positives, I did find it very good on this brush for getting inside these areas. So yes, it was definitely advantageous for these more awkward areas because that's really good. That really got into all the grooves on the tap along the bottom here along here it definitely did do a good job of that so on doing this a hard to reach areas using this brush yeah i would say that's definitely done a really good job but in general on cleaning the entire sink i would actually just go back to using my um yellow sponge with the um with the product so it, it all depends on the product that you use as well. I mean, the product did the work. The brush cleaned it up, but it was the product that actually brought up the shine. So 
in general on sinks a bit too time consuming to be honest unless you've got really awkward areas that really need a good cleaning then I would recommend it but in general I would just just gonna stick to my sponge so what I'm gonna do now is move on to the kitchen sink so the sink I have here in the kitchen is an enamel two bowl sink or bowl and a half with a waste disposal unit down there um, and these are the taps which are quite fiddly to clean so I've left it for a few days that is that is the surface come come off that is that is discoloration on this um, what do you call it part anyway that's come off I've left it down here there's a bit of grime down there for you to clean so I've left that for a couple of weeks to see how it deals with that area but relatively this is only because I've been using it today and yesterday I've left it for two days so it's not too bad but it definitely will be able to see a difference in it once we give it a clean so let me get you set up and you can see what I'm doing okay so again I'm gonna wet the sink just as I normally do spray on or put on some GIF what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try the flat brush I'm going to try the flat brush on the draining board this time. Give it a little wet. I'm going to put a little bit of product on here and let's see what it does. Okay, so on the big flat surface of the draining board, that, that did pretty well, I'm very impressed with that. So what I'm going to do now for the main part of the bowl is use this rounded brush. Give it a go. A bit awkward to fit in the um, waste disposal part of it, so I think I'm going to have to use the small brush for this. And I'm also going to use it on here as well and see how it does. Just wet the brush, a little bit of jiff, sit. Yeah, so this one is definitely easier, this brush for me to get into the, um, into the nooks and crannies of the plug hole. Okay, 
Okay, so that did really good. So what I'm going to be concentrating now on is this. Okay, yeah, so it definitely did a good job around there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a stronger product, so I'm going to get some Silic Bang and see how it does. Okay, so I sprayed some Silic Bang. to go under so let's rinse it off okay that is fantastic it's definitely gotten rid of all the marks that were there around it and cleaned up the metal but again that is to do with the product Rather, I mean, the brush definitely helps, but I would have been able to have done that with a scourer. So, the product cleared it away, and the brush helped. So, let me just finish off cleaning up the rest of the thing. So, I've decided to up the ante a bit with a bit of silly bang. It's a very hard water area. And we get terrible water stains. Okay, I'm going to remove the head. It's quite easy to rinse out. wipe over and then I'll take you off the tripod and we can take a look and see the results okay so the sink is sparkly clean it has done a very good job uh, down in the waste disposer that's cleaned it up 
pretty good. In the main sink, it's definitely done a good job. Being able to use this brush to get in all the nooks and crannies and around the edge here, which gets mucky with food, definitely helped. Would I have found it easier using this or a normal sponge and some Silibang or Jif? No, this did take me a little bit longer. I definitely found it useful for cleaning in all the nooks and crannies. So for nooks and crannies, definitely, but for normal areas, there's no real difference than using just uh, the product that you're going to use and the uh, and a sponge, no matter what type of sponge you use, a brillo sponge. It did do a really good job. Yeah, it's lovely and clean, but it's a bit of a hassle and I've not got any better result than I would have otherwise. So for the nooks and cranny areas, yeah, definitely, but for general, yeah. So now we're going to move on to the bathroom. Okay, so it's been a little while finishing off this video regarding the Hurricane Spin Scrub. So what I'm going to do, I haven't cleaned this. This is my bath and shower. I haven't cleaned it for over a week. I've left it uh, to build up sort of like some normal grime on it and lime scale and stuff. So it's not it's not manky because like I said, it's it's if you're if what you're trying to clean is really old and really, really in bad shape, this isn't going to work. This is only just a minute, you know, to, to clean it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this and the glass partition and see how we get on with it. So first of all, I'm going to just wet the area, spray some um, stuff and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so I'm going to start by just wetting the area. clean it is Silip Bang. So I'm just going to spray liberi, liber, liberally my Silip Bang. If it works. Because we live in a hard line scale area. I have to use uh, something quite strong like this. So I'm going to use the first brush, I'm going to use the flat brush and then I'm going to try it on the wall area. So I just pop it on. I don't need to use the extension wand because it's quite, but I'll do as far as I can and then I'll demonstrate it with the brush. So if my good cameraman will come up closer and then I'll just film what I'm doing. Try the extension wand on it. So it's very simple, you just slide it on, slide it on, and switch it on. I do find is because I got this extension wand on there I find it sort of like wants to go all over the place it's quite hard I have to put a hand high up on it to try and sort of like steady it Okay, let me rinse 
rinse this off. Okay, well it's it's definitely cleaner, but I couldn't because it's a white bathroom. I can't really like super tell. So let me try on this part. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the flat one again, and then I'm gonna have to use the corner one to do around the corners. comes in close over here I purposely haven't cleaned these um, stains off you can see so let me see uh, down a bit further just underneath there okay you can see let me test that Okay, so the stains that were there, they gone. They is gone. So we did really well on that, I'm quite surprised. So let me just rinse it off. Oh, actually I can't. Then I have to change the brush head. Now I'm gonna go for the little corner one, this. And I'm gonna do down in the corners. There's a bit of black mold in the corner. Spray it with product. And let's see what it does. Using this head. Good, that's not bad. There's a little bit left in the corner. And there's a little bit of in this corner over here. On the other side down here, we'll try that. Okay, yes, I can see it's definitely helped. Uh, with a bit more scrubbing with the brush, I'm sure it would come out. So let me try these areas the more awkward because I can't get it there's a there's some dirt behind here but I can't get to it <laughs> and it's really awkward using this brush to try and do this chrome so I'm gonna swap the brush heads over and this time I'm gonna try it with the toilet brush shaped one. So I'm just going to spray some product. Let's see, 
deal with those. Actually, I'm going to take the extension part off. And just try this. I think I just lost the bristle. Now we're back to the front. Okay, that is really good. It's removed all the lime scale off the um, off the um, <coughs> the bar here. So that's all lime, lime scale, and nice and shiny. It's taken off some of the stains that were in this area here. I can't get to these ones behind it, so it loses marks on there because you can't get into really awkward places like where this bar is. But the rest of it, it's come up really well. I find it a bit easier for doing that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do now, the last thing I have to do is to clean the bath. So I'm going to spray some product and we'll have a look at, um, at the bath. Be careful you don't have any towels nearby because that's going to happen. Try again. <laughs>
God, it's hard work. Right, let's try the little corner brush. So I can get in where the taps are. Let's see what it does with that. Okay, so let's rinse this off. Okay, it did a really good job. You can see the taps are all very shiny and that corner brush, that little pointy one, did really well around the edges of the taps onto the bar. It cleared out a lot from the corners. The plug hole and also yeah, down in the plug hole, that's also lovely and clean. So for the corners and hard to reach places, that does really well. But it's down to the product really. If I was using a sort of like a more not so powerful product. I don't think it would have done as good. It's because I've used Silic Bang, which is quite a powerful vinegary, acidic kind of like base for the lime scale. It did a really good job. Next thing I'm gonna do is this screen, and this is heavily marked with lime scale on it. It's quite hard to see, but uh... oh, there we go. If I put my hand behind it, you can see the lime scale all over it, just built up. So what I'm going to do, just like I did the other one, I'm just going to moisten the area and spray the product and see how it does on that. And I'm going to use the flat, the big flat brush on this. Okay, so I just wet it. I'm going to put some of this Silly Bang uh, spray that I got.
Okay, so I'm gonna rinse it off. But I'm gonna push the shower glass in a bit. So that's that side and I can't give you a true picture until I clean the other side. Okay, so I'm going to spray my cellophane. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it off. Let's go the other side. A bit awkward. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off. Okay, I'm gonna get a towel. I'm gonna dry patch on both sides. And we can see the results. Quite a non-absorbent towel for some reason. It's a towel that doesn't want to dry. Okay, so, close up, hand behind it, follow my hand, follow my hand, so follow my hand, so you can see, it's a little bit, but it's definitely better than what it was, but again, I think that's due down to the product that I was using, the Silip Bang, more than the actual um, brush itself, I found it, I found it awkward to use. Because I normally clean the shower when I'm in the shower, so I'll clean the shower and then I'll have a shower. But I don't normally clean the, clean it when I'm outside of it, if you know what I mean. So, it did a really good job on the awkward corner areas. But, I did find it a bit of a faff, to be honest, and a bit of a gimmick. And even though it did get a lot of the lime scale off, I can still see where I'd have to go over it again, scrub it a bit more, so yeah, I did okay, but I wouldn't be using it every day, unless I was sort of like, every now and then I was sort of like, oh, do you know what, the corner of that bath needs to do it, or oh, the corner of the taps really, really need to be done, then I would definitely use this nozzle, this brush out, because I found this really good for getting into all the nooks and crannies. So uh, they should have provided a couple of different size ones of these, longer, shorter, because they're really good and they'll wear up fast because cause the bristles are spinning around in the centre. They're going to get mashed up pretty quick. But it did a really good job with the corners. So yes, I would definitely use it for occasional mouldy corners and awkward areas. But it's definitely not something that I'd be using on an everyday basis. I find it a lot easier just to get in the bath and clean the bath while I'm in it. 
I went in the shower, rinsed it all off, and then cleaned myself. So, um, yes or no? Nah, sorry. I will use it every now and then, but it's a bit awkward. And finally, the last thing I'm going to demo on it is cleaning the sink. So I'm just going to wet the sink and the brush. This time I'm going to use some cream cleaner. Finish that off. Okay, let's give it a go. Oops. Swap the brush heads. Use the round one to do the rest of the sink. Off the brush. Okay, let's rinse off the sink. I like, uh, I do like that little corner brush. It did really good for cleaning inside here in the overflow park. Did a good job. Okay, we've missed a bit there. So again, it did a really good job around the tap area, the awkward areas inside here, around the plug hole, did a really good job. So to be honest, I think I'd just be using it for the awkward areas, I don't think I'll be using it for anything else, it's a bit of a faff to be honest. So. That's it, we've done bits of the kitchen, the sink, there's other areas I could test it on, but uh, there's other videos 
that you can see regarding this on so other people testing um, oven doors and things like that. I'm not going to do that. You can have a look at them. So there we go. That's the sink clean, kitchen sink, utility room sink and the bath and the shower. Okay, so in my final summary, I'm glad I did buy it because I did find it really good in getting all the nooks and crannies. Um, it's a bit of a faff to use, a bit of a novelty. Uh, it did quite well in some areas and then it was just a bit of a hassle then in other areas. So it all depends what you're going to use it for. Um, I am definitely going to be using it again, um, especially for the uh, awkward areas. So I'm going to try it again on, on, on other parts as and when they come up. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it, but uh, it's a bit of a novelty, but it's all, it's all right. So yeah, that's about it in summary. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Everybody f finds these products useful in different ways. This is just my opinion, and um, I, I found it quite easy to charge and look after and maintain and everything. So. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. i got more gadgets to come up. And uh, thank you very much for watching this very long video on the Hurricane Spin Scrubber.